first, uh, I would like to thank the Committee of Regions for inviting not me but us because there are several members of the European Parliament here, uh, namely the uh, President of our Regi Committee who, who is here, Vada Mihailova. And uh, by the way, I cannot uh, uh, stop here not, not mentioning that uh, uh, in the time of a pro, pro referendum, we have a very easy, uh, we are trying to find who is guilty. And very often you can say European institutions, like for example, European Commission, by the way, Mr. Shevchovic is from Slovakia, or European Parliament, or someone, or I, mean, I have to add Committee of Regions, uh, which is also a European institution. I, I want to say that we in, in Brussels, we are elected by the people in our regions, in our cities. We are not from the moon. I mean, nobody is from the moon, and we are coming from different fields. So when we discuss the problem of Europe, let's say we Europe, we Europeans, we cities, regions, European Parliament, what can we do together? Because if not, we very easily, we can blame someone who is guilty and uh, the rest is just uh, following up. It's, it's very important because this is, I'm Polish, uh, by the way, former mayor and former pr president of the region. So I'm uh, very sensible on the language we speak to the people and not using the, this European s s slang, uh, which should be understood by professionals, like mayors, president of regions. But when we go to the people, can, we cannot use it. So let's speak concretely. What is going on now, in the very moment today? The situation is very difficult. Uh, why is it difficult? Because, in fact, the organizers, the Committee of Regions, was uh, making it were just to the point. The title of this panel is how to uh, deblock the European funds. It means that, that they are blocked. I mean, the, I understand. The Committee of Regions said the money is blocked or frozen. What can we do to make it work? Something is going wrong. We are in the third year of the multi-annual framework. We are late. All of us. All of us, we are late. We have not started yet, in fact, with all the projects. We, the questions we are asking in the European Parliament, in mean, the Regi Committee and Budget Committee, is, is what is going wrong? What happened? Because normally we were late one year, one year and a half maximum. This is the third year, and we have not really started yet. And this is the moment that we have to be prepared for the next perspective, and the European Commission should present the idea of the next perspective at the latest, the end of next year. So we haven't started yet very, very, very quickly, and we have to prepare the next perspective. The question is, can we de-block the money now, immediately? We cannot wait till 2021. We are now 16. Do we want to discuss the future perspective after 2020 and still having the money blocked 17, 18, 19, 20? We count on Slovak presidency that the discussion will not be about the future of cohesion policy, which would be beautiful, but, but of course this is not the problem today. This is just the beginning. The question is what we should do now, immediately. You are coming from the cities, you are coming from the regions, you know what is going on. You have the feeling that it's, something is going wrong, that the money is not going normally how it used to be. The question is what, ha what is going on? What happened? There are several answers, and we hope that the Slovak presidents will find the answer with the Commission. First, maybe this is the Commission who is guilty. If the Commission doesn't work very well. Or secondly, maybe the governments are not doing their job. Third, maybe the regulations are too complicated. They are so complex and complicated that they produce the complexity of control of everything. I give you a very good example, ex ante conditionality, and now I enter into the slang. The delegated act was late two years, two years. We couldn't start working with the Delegated Act. Or maybe there are different problems. The beneficiaries are not ready. 
Or maybe the cities, they don't have the money for the co-financement. Or maybe we changed the technique. Maybe something is going to go. The Commission says, for example, this is the problem of certification, which is now in the Member States. Where is, where is the problem with certification? But anyway, we should, we should do something now. As Mr. Prime Minister said, we cannot start to discuss simplification because we will finish with the more complex system. Let's think concretely. What can we change immediately? What kind of regulation we should reduce now? Uh, in 16, 17, to, to make it work better. If not, the problems will be even bigger. Of course, we have some solutions for, for a moment, for immediately. Like, for example, Commission should change the approach concerning the cohesion policy, make more trust to the uh, uh, managing authorities, either its minister or the president of the region, but trust them, let, let them go, let them work, not to control them on each small steps, let them do, and next control at the end. If something is going wrong, draw the conclusion, but not to uh, ex ante control or during the, the way, because it's, it doesn't work. So it's necessary to change the shared management by the Commission and the and the government is what has been said. This philosophy should be changed immediately. Because if not, it will not work. Because we, we, it's like we don't trust each other, so we create the instrument, and it's not the secret. The Court of Auditors is blaming the Commission for not controlling enough spending of European money. So the Court of Auditors is blaming the Commission, the Commission is multiplying the control or putting the necessity of control to the Member States. The re result is very poor. But what can be the consequence? The consequence can be that the debate about the cohesion policy will be more and more difficult because you can hear it in, in, the, in Brussels on the corridors. If the money is not spent, it means that they don't need it. Or it is not efficient. It doesn't work. Maybe we should resign from the policy. We, maybe we should change it only for the poorest and with the very big control. Or maybe we should change the, the cohesion policy. And I would like to draw your attention at the change of language. We start to speak not about the cohesion policy, but we start to speak about the cohesion, cohesion as such. It means that different European policy, uh, uh, all of them are going towards the cohesion. So you cannot say that one policy is pol cohesion policy, but all the policies are in fact cohesion policies. So it's not necessary to reinforce the structure of the funds, but maybe it's possible to make another funds or another instruments to go towards the cohesion. I can give you a very good example. Why? Why do we have the access with the a very famous Juncker fund? I hope that Mr. Katainen will explain it to you also. But for us, working in the Reggie Committee, what is very significant? The procedures for the cohesion policy are much more complicated than the procedures for the FC fund. How, how come? How it's possible that in one union we have more complicated procedures for one fund and we have less complicated procedures for another fund? What will be the tendency? The tendency will be, of course, to shift to less complicated. It's clear. All of us will do it the same. Etc. Etc. So we will have the change of philosophy about the cohesion policy. The question is for the Committee of Regions to really to discuss seriously what we really want. Do we want to keep shared management, an important role of the cities, an important role of the of the of the regions in the future po policy? What about the cohesion policy? Not only how much money, but what about the policy? And another example, just to finalise, I'm responsible for the midterm revision or what the Commission preferred to say, review. But we have just received the proposed proposal for the budget 2017. And for all the practitioners here in the room, mayors, president of regions, you know what the budget is. And you know very well that the budget means the, what we can do with the budget. You have to remember that the European budget is constructed after, I mean, the contributions are defined after the budget is accepted. So first we accept the budget, next we define the contributions. What we have in the proposal today, 
And this is the consequence of the level of spending. More or less 6% less for all the payments next year. And for the cohesion, more or less less 20% for next year. Less 20% comparing to this year. Of course, this year was the payments for 713. So we finished paying 713. We have not started yet paying 1420. So we, in fact, we reduce the payments next year. What is the danger? What about 2018? Will, it be, will the member states ready to go up drastically if the factories or claims are coming? Or will they say, all right, we can continue like this with the payments very low? What about the projects on the field? What about the cities and regions? We, as a member of members of parliament, say, no, we cannot go this way. We cannot reduce drastically cohesion just because the implementation is low. First, answer us why it's low. Secondly, how can we change it now? And next, we can discuss what about the payments. Because if not, we will reduce and we will be in a trap in two years. Please do understand me, for the practitioners it's clear. All of us, as mayors, as presidents, we are working on budget. We either have money for doing it or we don't have money. We would like to see Slovak presidency to look very carefully on the budget 17 and to, to look very carefully what it really means for the cohesion policy, for the future debate. What about the simplification? What about the changing it now, immediately, to have good results? If we don't do it, it will be too late. Thank you.